Jess seemed really hesitant about you coming in as Chief Stew. I mean, she's kind of a loyalist to Hannah throughout, you know, the whole charter. Um, but she does say in her confessional that your direction has actually made her better at her job. That seems like the highest compliment you can kind of get as a Chief Stew. How did you feel hearing that? Did you believe her? Did you feel justified and vindicated? I mean, I was I was absolutely honored to get that compliment from Jess. It was definitely something completely unexpected. I thought that those words coming out of her mouth was like were the last words I would ever hear from Jess. Um, I kind of just kind of like gave up on Jess. I was like, not gave up on her, but gave up on her attitude towards me because I was like, this is what it is. She obviously doesn't like me because of whatever her and Hannah had going on. And I was like, I just, I, there's no hope. So when those, when those words actually came out of her mouth, I was like, yes, you know, I've won, I've won this battle. And yeah. Because really awesome. yeah. <laughs> that's it, all you ever really wanted for her, right? Was right. just to help her. Right, exactly. And that's, that's the thing. I never had any bad vibes with Jace personally. Uh, I just like always wanted to see her, her do well. But from the get go, she just had this like awful attitude towards me and she never really gave me a chance. So, you know, it, it's just, you get tired of trying with somebody like on a personal level. So I just made it purely professional and yeah, the outcome was bloody fantastic. And that's, <laughs> that's like something that you often just have to do in yachting because you're stuck with each other. There's no way you can get away from each other and you know, you can't bring beef into work. So you just need to get on with it. Well, you're yeah. kind of in between it, Asia, as the second Sue. I mean, do you notice yeah. Jess being better at her job? Just, you know, I know you didn't really know what it was like with her and Hannah, but just under Bugsy's direction, do you feel her being better and better? Um, well, yeah, as you say, like, I didn't, I never knew what she was like beforehand, so I don't really have anything to compare it to, but I definitely think that she did a good job. And Especially Asia, with a bloody broken finger. Yeah, no, that's, Trying to that's, tuck that's, in a bottom sheet. I know, right? Like, midst heart attack and broken finger, she seems to be improving. So, like, <laughs> say, that's pretty nice to see. You know, Asia, yeah. I was a little surprised because you were feeling pretty homesick uh, this yeah. last episode. And why do you think this time around you wanted to go home so badly? And can fans expect to see you stick it around for the rest of the season? I'm not sure we can deal with too many more changes on the <laughs> Well, I'm definitely not a quitter, so I'll just say that. But um, I think the reason that I was just so homesick this time is because it was a few different things. Like, first of all, I had just had like a really busy temp season. Um, and then I'd been in Bali for my friend's wedding and I was just partying like the whole time. And then I went from there to watch what happens live in New York, jet lagged, probably had three hours sleep in like two, three days. And then I got the call to come back. So then I went straight to Spain didn't sleep on that flight either, got to sleep at like midnight and got woken up at four to come on the boat. So I was just ex like probably the most exhausted mm -hmm. I've ever been in my life. And then I think as well, the reason I was, I was going to Bali before I was going home to New Zealand, I was literally on my way home. So I'd already checked out of yachting. I was like, yay, I'm going home. I'm done. And then they're like, oh, could you actually come back and do like a bit more yachting? And so I think just because I was almost home and then it got pushed back, that just made me even more homesick, you know? Yeah, you were just drained. You were emotionally... It's very just... drained, yeah. yeah. So like, I, have, is, yeah. I have to say, I have to say, your attitude like far surpassed any lonely, homesick, <laughs> like tired person I think I've <laughs> ever worked with. No, really, you brought like such a like new energy to the boat and it was just so awesome. I think like even Aww. being homesick and tired, you gave everyone else like so much energy. So I think that was fantastic. Aww, thank you. That's I so kind. I totally agree. You were, the br you were the fresh breath of, you know, New Zealand air we all needed. <laughs> exactly. Speaking no. of maybe being emotionally drained though, you both have been pretty supportive of Jess, just given the whole Jess Rob saga that seems to have been going on since day one. And Aisha, I know you're coming late into this, but clearly you can see there's some tension there between the two. How much of the situation do you two see it as her and him? Are they are they just bad for each other, Bugsy? What's your take on this? I mean, I've said it before. I'm not one for boat romances. Like I never have been. Okay, bar me and Alex, but I've never really been been one for that. But I just I just saw this as a recipe for disaster the minute I stepped on the boat. And like remember, I came to the boat a little bit later on, not as late as Asia, but they had already kind of formed their their little uh, romance. And I just saw it as as like a, a train just going, just 
head on like into <laughs> a huge collision and that that's what it was it was just so it was just so intense so quickly and they kind of forgot about the fact that they were on a boat with with a crew and it was all about the two of them and it was just so intense and yeah i felt it was really toxic I mean, Aisha, you come under fire with Jess. I mean, she does not seem happy uh, about how you and Rob are hanging out. Even if it's just harmless, she is not a fan of it. And, you know, in a, in a teaser, we kind of see her really get mad at you for putting her <laughs> arm around him in a picture. Like, you mentioned that you wanted to third wheel to Bali with them. I'm assuming you were just joking, <laughs> joking. about that, though, Definitely. right, Aisha? Yeah. Oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> what is your take on it? I mean, given the fact that I feel like you're just a flirtatious, fun person, and probably it's easy to misinterpret, but were you yeah. deliberately trying to flirt with Rob to piss Jess off? Or no, is that just and I think the thing is, like, I wouldn't, I definitely don't think I'm flirtatious. I'm just fun. I just yeah. like to have banter, you know? I'm just like, I think I, Bugsy kind of gets this sometimes too. Like, I think when you are a really bubbly girl, people can take your kindness for flirting. But there was never any, like, I acted the same towards every single guy on the boat. But it's just because Rob so happened to have, like, a jealous girlfriend that it kind of became an issue. And I think whether it was me or whoever it was, I think she's just such a jealous person that if he talked, if he spoke to any female, it would be an issue, you know? And okay. so, yeah. So as you like, you know, you asked if you thought they were suited to each other. And I think, I think they don't suit because they both are the kind of people that are very in their head and they overthink everything and they have to discuss everything. Whereas I, I feel like those two would benefit from having a partner that was a bit bit more like just chill and surface level. So not everything had to be, like looked into right are you both over rob and jess or do you want to see them work out no, oh no i want to see them get away from each other as quick as possible and move on yeah it's actually and got to a point where it's like boring now do you know what it's I mean? boring it's yeah like, it's just boring like <laughs> yeah like, oh, another fight it. another fight great so I'm assuming you both don't think Rob and Jess will last. I mean, this is just a circumstance of them being in close proximity to each other on a boat for X amount of weeks, right? I mean, they're just kind of stuck with each other at this point. Bugsy, they're not lasting. Am I correct? I don't see it happening. But hey, who knows? People surprise you, but I don't see yeah. it. <laughs> Aisha, I'm assuming you agree with that? Or do you see anything? Uh, do you see no. a little light, a little hope? <laughs> no, definitely don't see them lasting. And that's the thing with yachting is um, there's so many, I'd say probably 99% of relationships in yachting don't last because it's two people that aren't actually suited to each other, but it's just because you're stuck on a boat for so long with a set amount of people. You almost kind of just like pick the best of the worst because you're stuck together, you're tired, your guard comes down and you're like, oh, may as well. Yeah, it's convenient, yeah. you know? Is that what happened yeah. with you and Jack or was it a real romance, Asia? Oh, definitely. That's how it was with Jack and I. Like, you know, when I first met him, even the first time I met him, I was like, oh, he is so not my type. And then the weeks go on and we have banter and, um, you know, get closer and closer. And then suddenly we're together and then you go into the real world and it's like, what was I thinking? Like, we just... <laughs> it's like a I think... romance can be a 10, but in the real world, it's like a four. Yeah. It's like a four. Exactly. Regular <laughs> but, land I, but I think the good thing with Jack and I, which Jess and Rob weren't able to do is like Jack and I still, we, we like, cause we genuinely get along so well as friends. And so there was never any sort of tension or fights or anything anything so we were we were able to keep working that separated like it's not like when I was at work I was thinking about him or we were running off to have fights or anything you know whereas Rob and Jess can't really keep it separated well Aisha Bugsy I love you both so much thank you for keeping the interior very clean very proper I appreciate it I'm curious to see how the rest of the drama unfolds on below deck med this season I love you both Thanks, Darren. Bye. Thanks Thank for you guys. Us. All right, people, you can catch new episodes of Below Deck Mediterranean every Monday at 9, 8 central on Bravo. This season is absolutely incredible.